a group intake is of 40 is 40. So like we have 40 students per semester. Eligibility criteria is the qualified uh, students, the students who have qualified NATA are eligible. NATA is an aptitude test in architecture, uh, which is conducted by the Council of Architecture, New Delhi, and it is um, once you once you pass the test or once you uh, are qualified, then only are you allowed to take admission in the course of architecture, uh, in the program of architecture throughout the nation. And uh, also you, you, you would have to secure 50% aggregate marks in physics, chemistry and mathematics. Um, also at least 50% marks an aggregate of 10 plus 2. So like your overall result of the of 12 should be minimum 50% along with securing an aggregate or an overall percentage of 50% in physics, chemistry and maths also. Um, so the third criteria is so um, just 10 plus 3 diploma examination with mathematics as compulsory subject with at least 50% marks. So you must have secured 50% marks aggregate in 10 plus 3 diploma as well. So uh, I'm just going to brief you about architecture. So architecture is a piece of art in which a person can live. That art is created by the person for the person to live in. So all the rest, it is, it just it does not only comprise of residences, it comprises of the built environment that we live in. So built environment includes your ecology, your city, your uh, uh, spaces, uh, the spaces in the city, spaces in, the, in a building. So everything that is related to the built environment for a person to live to exist or to survive, that everything comes under architecture. Agar mein isko hindi mein bolu, to sapatya kala ka ho murt root hai, jis mein manav nivas kar sakta hai. So this is, ye what the broad definition of architecture ki. So, jo hum courses, so I'm just very briefly uh, going to tell you about the courses. Um, or the subjects that we cover during the five during the course of architecture during the five years of your architecture that is first is architectural drawing second is building construction third is history of architecture then visual arts structures architectural design and so these are the main four subjects we have the courses that are allied so the like mathematics, communication skills, and choice-based electives. So this is the course, or this is the, these are the subjects which are covered in during the first years of architecture. So as you level up or as you progress in your semesters, some other subjects such as landscape design, town planning, uh, urban design, or uh, even um, climate responsive architecture, the, all of these are going to be added in your uh, course. And so, but this, but these are the foundation courses that are covered um, in the first years. So um, briefly telling about each courses. So first is architectural drawing. So architectural drawing is um, nothing but understanding of the tools and techniques that are required for the architectural program. So, um, while drafting, so the technique is known as drafting. So, the drawings that you make using a parallel bar or a T-scale or a, the tables, the tables are known as drafting tables. So, all of these techniques are are being taught to you. So regarding your sections, what are sections, what is what is a plan, what are elevations, what are projections, how do you view, view an object in an isometric projection, how do you view an object 
in an orthographic projection and also its application in your design so the main core subject is your design that is known as architectural design uh, so the subjects or the knowledge of the subjects that you knowledge of the subjects that you gain individually are being combined into your architectural design so this subject it this subject improves the ability of students to visualize any object so uh, in architecture it is absolutely and necessary and basic to visualize things to visualize your a uh, concept to visualize your structure to visualize your built environment how do you visualize it and then usko hum paper pe as a design utarte hain so when you do that your visualization uh, skills should be absolutely true right so this subject your architectural drawing is going to help you in improving the ability to visualize uh, so in this subject stimulus is given to the students about object drawing how to present the building with a proper representation technique to make the drawing readable for different team members of design and execution so you are being taught um, ways of representing uh, you are being taught the ways to um, visualize your uh, building in orthographic projections in isometric in also in isometric projection so uh, these are some of the examples of how a drawing is being made or how the basics are started all right so these are uh, 2d 2D is like a two-dimensional, which does not involve a third dimension. Uh, that is, it is only involves length and breadth, but it does not involve height. So um, you are being given the questions of, for example, um, a cylinder is being cut, uh, is being diagonally cut. So you have to visualize and then recreate it on on paper. Okay, how do you think it is going to look like? so this is the implication so the 2d or the, the 2d orthographic projections which are being taught are also being implied or being implied on the plans on the sections of the buildings that you guys eventually create or design uh now this is the example of two point perspective and sciography so two point perspective is uh, nothing but a perspective view which has two end points and um, the sciography means playing of light and shadows so uh, in a building in a building when it is um, created or when it is designed or when it is executed on the site the most important thing an architect has to take care of is the the play of light and shadows kaun sa area has to be lit which area has to be covered which area needs more sun exposure which which area needs shade so all of this is very important uh, is very important to think of while we design so now uh, the basics of um, learning to isometric projection and sciography is to eventually um combine it into a building and uh, imply it all right so next subject is your building construction so building construction as the name suggests it tells us everything about the construction techniques of and materials that are required during the construction of a structure of a building right so in this you are going to be taught about the different building materials kaun kaun se building materials on site use hote hain which are which are the materials that are being used 
um, which were the dis which are the discarded methods of construction techniques why were they discarded and what new techniques are coming up on site and uh, how can you make your design better how can you make the execution better so all of these are covered under the subject of building construction uh, here you can see there are six stages of uh, constructing a building that is first excavation a site is excavated uh, then footing reinforcements are uh, uh, being uh, laid column cast column cast hota hai column casting ke baad floor cast hota hai so isko bolte hain hum normal bhasha mein bolte hain chhat dalna then walls build hoti hai and then ultimately plaster hoke interiors hoke a building is or a structure is ready to move in right so this subject is divided in different parts according to different construction material that is brick, brick construction in your first year you are going to be studying about brick construction and as you level up you will be studying about timber concrete and steel construction as well so brick construction um, the students get to you know about the use of bricks from foundation to superstructure so foundation is jab hum koi bhi building ki needs dalte hain so that is called the foundation which is the most important thing uh, of the building kyunki sabse zyada usko strong hona padta hai and till the superstructure so your superstructure is till your uh, हाई राइस कैसे बनेगा वहाँ पे ब्रिक्स कहाँ यूज होंगे होंगे कि नहीं होंगे हाउ लाइट हाउ लाइट द ब्रिक हैज टू बी वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ब्रिक्स अवेलेबल विच इज द मोस्ट सस्टेनेबल ब्रिक अवेलेबल हाउ इज इट यूज वॉट आर इट्स एडवांटेजेस डिसएडवांटेजेस सो ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स आर बींग प्रैक्टिकली टॉट टू द स्टूडेंट Uh, next is timber construction. Timber construction is nothing but wood. Wood कहाँ use होती है? Um, so timber as a building construction material. Is it used in interiors? Is it used in the structures? Um, is it used in flooring, wood paneling, roofing, and the techniques? So now, how do you uh, in uh, while doing a market survey? What is the cost of the timber? what are the different timber timber available in the market which is the best timber to use for construction and also to question ki is timber a sustainable material nowadays or or do we have to do away with timber and introduce new materials in place of timber um so again Uh, the third material is your RCC or concrete construction, जो everybody knows, everybody sees, जो बेस बहुत ही common material है सारे ही construction में uh, foundation से लेकर आपका beam डालने का, छत डालने का, slab डालने का, floor और roof डालने का everything इसमें हम RCC और um, reinforced concrete cement जिसको बोलते हैं हम यूज करते हैं सो यू आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी स्टार्टिंग अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट कितना फ्लेक्सिबल होता है कौन सा ग्रेड का कॉन्क्रीट यूज होना चाहिए जो स्टील uh, बार्स यूज करते हैं री के लिए वो कौन सा ग्रेड का होता है कितने सरिये लगते हैं सो ऑल ऑफ दीज आर बींग टॉट the uh, talk to the students uh, the next is steel construction so for industrial construction steel is used for huge structures and heavy machineries so agar hum ek industry build kar rahe hain so uska load kitna aayega andar industry mein jo na machineries hain unka load kitna hai so aur uh, uska load kitna hai will the structure be able to survive उसका लोड कैलकुलेशन कितने होंगे सो ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स आर क्वाइट टेक्निकल बट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एन आर्किटेक्ट टू नो अबाउट बाई डिजाइनिंग 
Right. So next subject is called the visual arts. So visual arts, as the name suggests, it has the art meeting architecture. So जो art है वो हम architecture because architecture is not apart from art. Art is very much the basis of architecture. So how do, should we inculcate art in architecture? सबसे पहले एलिमेंट्स क्या है आर्ट के प्रिंसिपल्स क्या है डिजाइन के यू आर बीन टॉट सो कॉम्पोजिशन यूजिंग बेसिक शेप्स यूजिंग बेसिक वॉल्यूम्स आर बीन टॉट सो यू आर बीन टॉट अबाउट फोर ग्राउंड बैकग्राउंड थ्री डी ऑब्जेक्ट्स अबाउट द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ डिजाइन स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम वेरी वेरी सिंपल डॉट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम लाइन कमिंग टू प्लेन टू योर वॉल्यूम्स एंड देन moving further so this will enhance the ability to observe the things very minutely even in interiors of a building all the elements and principles of design take place so a student are taught to observe things everywhere they are present because it is because we are building for the built environment we are not just building on a particular site we are building For the environment, it is it is that is why it is called the built environment. So, um, student will learn abstraction and different rendering techniques and architectural rendering in this subject. Um, next is the history of architecture. So, the objective of the course is to understand the historical background of built structures. जो हमारा Indian wisdom है वो uh, क्या है ऑफ बिल्डिंग सो वी आर बीइंग टॉट दैट आल्सो टेकिंग इन अकाउंट द इंटरनेशनल हिस्ट्री जो ग्रीक की है रोमन्स की है इजिप्ट की है सो कंपेयरिंग द इंडियन आर्किटेक्चर विथ विथ अदर आर्किटेक्चर्स ऑफ ग्रीक रोमन इस्लाम इस्लामिक आर्किटेक्चर मुगल आर्किटेक्चर सो व्हाट So, what does Indian architecture comprise of, and what are the features of the international um, architectures and the characteristics which make the Indian architecture very unique from any other style of architecture? <clears throat> the next is structure. So, now structure is uh, the subject that is related to the stability of the of the structure. जहाँ पे हम लोड कैलकुलेट करते हैं जहाँ पे हम इंटरनल फोर्सेस कैलकुलेट करते हैं इंटरनल एंड एक्सटर्नल फोर्सेस कैलकुलेट करते हैं कितना लोड है कहाँ पे यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूट होगा सो दिस इज आल्सो वन ऑफ द वेरी टेक्निकल सब्जेक्ट्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम द अदर सब्जेक्ट्स सो इन दिस वे डिजाइनर कैन डिसाइड वट काइंड ऑफ बिल्डिंग फॉर्म इज फिजिबल what kind of structural system is preferable for a given condition so now if, if you have to construct say for example a circular building so you will have to do a load calculation of every column every beam in that in that structure so um, apart from building a proper monotonous rectangular structure जब बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग दूसरे स्ट्रक्चर्स बिल्ड होते हैं तो इसमें एसेंशियली लोड कैलकुलेट करके बनता है नाउ द थिंग इन आर्किटेक्चर इज एवरी सब्जेक्ट इज नॉट टॉट इंडिविजुअली सो एवरी स्ट्रक्चर और आई एम सॉरी एवरी सब्जेक्ट इज बीइंग अलाइड अलाइड और बीइंग Um, it is being allied with architectural design. That is the core subject. जो हमने architect architectural drawing में सीखा है, उसका application architectural design में होता है. जो building construction में सीखा है, जो history में सीखा है, जो visual arts में सीखा है, जो structures में सीखा है, उन सब का application हम design में करते हैं. So जो हम हर semester design करते हैं, वो हम बाकी सब्जेक्ट्स में सीख रहे हैं उसका उसकी का एप्लीकेशन है तभी हमारा डिजाइन स्ट्रॉन्ग होगा और तभी हमारे कॉन्सेप्ट्स अच्छे लिख पाएंगे 
example like so that is another called as basic design that is the understanding of space defining elements like horizontal plane vertical plane elevated base plane so other ek building mein ya other ek other ek structure mein spaces nikal rahi hai wo kaisi spaces nikal rahi hai kya interesting hai un spaces mein um 3d composition is based on these elements so sara space creation and model so hands on model banta hai jisse light and shadow ka play pata padta hai jisse spaces pata padta hai jisse um anthro pata padte hain um so understanding the behavioral aspect of space creation so kya cheeze humko dhyan mein rakh ke spaces ko create karna hai building ke andar building ke bahar bhi so and ultimately designing for an informal sit out space using different space elements um so the architectural design the core subject which we which we talked which we talked about is the architectural design so uh, in every semester one design project is introduced to the students in which they have to start with plain land uh, very plain land and they have to provide unique design solution in the form of drawings and models so it is uh, preferably an actual site which is given to the students and uh, this is the major subject in the journey of architecture and education and carries the maximum credits uh, students will work on one major design project and one minor project throughout the semester so first semester covers a basic design in which the space defining elements are introduced the second semester has the architectural design one in which a very small scale project such as a skios for a vegetable shop or a milk booth is be um, is given to design so that they understand spaces they understand materials they understand the concept which is used by designing um, a structure then <clears throat> as you level up in your third fourth fifth sixth semester the the level of the architectural design uh, also goes up so in third semester a residential project is given in fourth semester maybe uh, an institutional um, an institutional building or uh, institutional building is introduced then in fifth semester a housing project is introduced and sixth semester um, again your psps or your hospital or your hotel designs are it um, so the process what is the process of um, designing first is the pre design stage so whenever a project is introduced to the students the focus is first on the pre design stage that is understanding the project project kya hai uski users kon hai because we are ultimately designing for the users we are not designing for ourselves we are designing for the users so what the users kya hai what the activities kaise ho sakti hai kya hoti hai what is the site uske aas pass ka context kya hai because it is not just site specific hum us site pe jo build karenge wo hame ultimately 1.5 se 2 km ya puri city pe uska impact deta hai so uska context kya hai उसके केसेस क्या है दैट इज यू हैव टू डू योर केस स्टडीज केस एग्जांपल पहले स्टडी करने करना है ओवर इंटरनेट और गोइंग ऑन द एक्चुअल साइट्स एंड स्टडीइंग द प्रोजेक्ट व्हिच वर प्रीवियस सिमिलर प्रोजेक्ट्स व्हिच वर प्रीवियस टू दैट द सेकंड स्टेज इज द कांसेप्टुअल डिजाइन स्टेज इन व्हिच योर design concepts your design ideas are being represented in the form of sketches in the form of models and also gradually a design is developed so design development stage mein kya hota hai so you have floor plans you have sections you have elevations you have required presentation points to convey the idea so the idea which you had in the conceptual stage is being implemented technically in the design development stage and then the details detail of drawing such as uh, your uh, fixtures your uh, you, uh, electrical and plumbing hvac electrical plumbing etc are being done in the final design stage once your uh, plans 
uh, are finalized, your concept is finalized, then you go into the final design stage and ultimately at the end of the semester, uh, provide one complete portfolio of your design, of your architectural design. So in your pre-design stage, you have the understanding of the brief project, user groups, kya hai, activity patterns, kya hai, case studies, kya, case studies hoti hai, to, uh, actual mage, ke building ko study karna, unki spaces ko study karna, unki materials ko study karna, um, unka background study karna, and then usse, unne case examples se, uh, inspiration leke, ya, inferences nikalke hamara khud ka design strategy develop karna this khud ke design concepts develop karna so this is a uh, site analysis so when we talk about site to so site ko study hum bahut sare parameters pe karte hain for example vegetation sun path wind movement north uh, the best orientation possible for of a building on the site this is what site analysis comprises. Then in your uh, conceptual design sketches, such sketches are being developed. Uh, zoning hota hai ki konsa space kaha par aana chahiye in a building. Um, ek site pe building ka form kaise hona chahiye. Parking hum tentative kaha rak sakte hain. So all of these things are being taught to the students to develop concepts. Next is your design development stage in which uh, jo apne concept pehle banaye the, concept finalized kiya tha, uske baad aap details par aate hain, aap plans banate hain, aap hato se sketches banate hain, aap softwares pe kaam karte hain, sketches, um, usko, sketches ko plan mein develop karte hain. Uh, so the uh, the allied subjects so दूसरे subjects so हमें design का complete understanding करने के लिए जरूरत होते हैं वो होते हैं building services building services such as electrical services कैसे चाहिए building में plumbing services कैसी होगी AC लगा है तो वो कहाँ से होगा ducts जो जो ducts होते हैं uh, वो कहाँ पे place होंगे पानी कैसे आएगा water supply कैसे होगा sanitation कैसे होगा so this is also being taught and then the next is surveying and leveling so this is related to the site site ka contour kitna hai site kyunki ekdam flat nahi hota hai kafi sare usme contours hote hain boundaries kaisi hai segments kaise hain topography kaisi hai all of these things uh, then uh, also one of the subject is landscape design and site planning so this subject deals with indoor and outdoor green spaces and its design in the site planning, the basic principles of site development is covered. Site development and site analysis. Kaise agar humne site pe sirf building construct nahi karna hai. Humne pure site ko develop karna hai with vegetation, with pathways, with water bodies, with parkings and other things also. So how do you develop a site? Also, the next subject is urban design. So urban design is... Urban design in this subject, urban scale projects are introduced to the students. For example, square design, neighborhood invention. So urban design is a little, a little larger scale than your architectural design, but that covers city. City ke spaces kaise hain? Um, se space humko bhot attract karta hai? Aur uska hum architecture mein kaise use kar sakte? So these are some of the students' work done previous in the previous semesters or in previous years. Um, so as I said, that architecture is a five-year course. So once you are done with the five years, so once you're done with five years, um, you can apply for masters. You can apply for masters in urban design. You can apply for masters in landscape design, interior design digital architecture, architectural education, sustainable architecture. Also, you can apply for master's in interior design if somebody has an interest. Uh, you can also go for MDES in product design animation. 
glass design, ceramic design, interior design, etc. And the, uh, another option is going for masters in planning. So your uh, city planning, urban and rural planning, environment planning. Your urban design is included here. Right. So uh, so that is that again takes up your two years, two years of planning. And um, so in the uh, eighth semester in the university, students. Eighth semester in the university, students go for internship. Uh, internship is nothing but six months का training होता है, in which students apply for the firms that they want to work for under architects. उसके पहले portfolio is being taught how to create, as a resume is का workshops होते हैं, and then you apply online or you apply via email to the firms that you want to work for. Uh, so once you come back from your internship, in your ninth and the tenth semester, students are being uh, taught. Students are being uh, given the task of research. So your ninth semester has a dissertation. So dissertation is nothing but research on a particular topic, theoretical research on a particular on a particular topic that you guys are interested in, which is again implemented. In the form of design in your 10th semester as a thesis project. So thesis project is a student single-handedly um, handles a project from the scratch till the end. So that is a thesis project which a student does in the 10th semester. That is the final semester of the entire batch, bachelor's of architecture. Uh, once that is cleared, you guys are awarded the degree of BIAC. And if you want, you can continue with the uh, practice as an architect, or you can also apply for the master's program in different universities, either in India or abroad, as it is being shown here. And once you are through with your master's, you have the opportunity to work for the government, you have the opportunity to also freelance opportunity to work under architects in an office or uh, in uh, architectural institutes as well. So once that is done, uh, you have the opportunity to also do PhD from um, universities like IIT, or uh, UCL London, UCL A in um, uh, Los Angeles, in SEPT University from Ahmedabad, your SBA, Bhopal, Delhi, um, and Vijayawada. So there are a lot of universities that also offer PhD programs too. As I conclude, I quote the great architect, Louis Khan, that architecture is the reaching out for the truth. Also, uh, Frank Lloyd Wright says, the mother art is architecture. Without an architecture of our own, we have no soul of our own civilization. So these are some of the um, very um, basic things covered in the architecture curriculum. And um, if anybody has any doubt, you can ask. Thank you. Stop presenting. Thank you, ma'am for such an informative session. Uh, I would like to request all the participants to fill the feedback form through the link that I have mentioned in the chat box. Thank you, ma'am, for being with us for this webinar. Have a nice day. Thank you.